Hey buds, welcome back to Madibles and welcome back to our Ox Machina reactions. As you know from last week, I guess YouTube, you're a little late to the game because the video's not even out yet for you guys. So I guess I'm not even taking into consideration if I asked if people would like the video. So I'm just gonna do it anyway. So if you did like the video, I guess here you go. But if you did, this is because of you. But I figured like we still have a little bit to watch. Like it's not a super long show, but we still have like a bit to get through and I'm really enjoying it. So I don't want to like just do one at a time anymore, but it is extra work for me. So if you, if you want, just consider supporting me in either liking, commenting, subscribing, or coming to the Patreon. Because it is also my birthday month. Got about, I think, like, roughly two weeks. I'm excited, so we got three weeks left of the season, then we're on to season two. Anyway, let's get into it. Hey, how's it going? Check out this thing. Bah, greatly appreciate it. Consider coming over to uh, Patreon if you want more content. Uh, otherwise, just consider just liking the video, subscribing, all that jazz. It's whatever you want to do, I'm fine with. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the reaction series. I'm really glad that people are liking my reaction style. I mean... It's been a few years at this point of like, at first it was a little rough in the beginning where people were like, you know, you, you pause too much, but you know, like as this like last like year and a half, I've gotten more and more people be like, I like it the way you do it. And it's just been very, um, rewarding. Um, there's another word for it, but I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dig into it because I can't remember it. So it be like that sometimes. Um, so it's, it's been just been very nice that people have been. Uh, more discovering me like hey you know we appreciate you for doing the content that you the way you like to do it i'm like really oh my god it's crazy so i, I just want to say thank you for um reinforcing that's what i was looking for earlier anyway let's get into episode seven and eight Amazon original. white stone mind from our very mountains its plain appearance belies an exceptional trait when refined, it is known by another name? Residual glass, Professor Anders. Correct. That's that's Percy. That's Percy's voice Percy's voice actor, right? And that's the that's the tutor. Oh, we're we're back in time. The tutor does kind of look like him a little bit, right? I mean, he also looks like gremlin-esque. Right. As always, Percival. Sorry. Residual Are you volunteering to demonstrate? Um certainly. I mean, I would love to demonstrate. Is that supposed to be some form of punishment? Because, like, I would be like, hell yeah, I want to activate some crystals. Are you kidding me? That's the best part of science class is doing, like, the actual hands-on stuff. I hated trying to memorize the periodic table because, like, although it's fascinating and, like, really cool, whenever I see numbers and letters, my brain goes to blue. My brain goes to blue. My brain goes to blue. <laughs> That's all I can describe it as. Okay, anyway. Professor? On its own, the light remains measured. However, when even a tiny bit of residuum touches it... <gasps> Anders, we've been over this. Yes, but with enough funding, we could triple our residuum production. Your ambitions cloud your duties. Oof. More is not always better. Perhaps focus on your pupils instead of matters beyond your purview. Oh, forgive my hubris. <laughs> Your advice is always illuminating. Yeah, but okay, okay. All right, let's talk about this for a second. All right, let's talk about pitching ideas to to the king or the gov governor or something like that. Um, I think like it's nice to like he wants like funding for like you know a mining project to get the, the stones. I, I, there's a lot of things getting thrown around right now. All right, so don't mind me. Um, so like I I think it's fair to like we don't have to like invest a ton into it but maybe we can look at like a business plan if this guy can be like all right actually if we do this this and this we'll actually end up making more money or this is better for this reason you know show it more physical instead of just kind of pitching the idea because when people see things in front of them it makes a little bit more sense than just hearing it by ear because sometimes when you hear things by ear it just goes <laughs> you know just you just can't, sometimes you, you can't fully break down what people are trying to process or like explain to you so like I mean, I guess, like, I don't know the other side of it to be able to invest in it, but, like, if he's, like, helping their children to, like, also have, like, an edge into getting a project up and running, the project could be good for some things. I don't know if it's evil or not yet. I'm just saying, like, we don't have to shut him down so, so, so aggressively. See you at dinner, dears. <sighs> Oof. Ah, Scalding, father. sir. No one appreciates me, no one at all. Professor, it's just an experiment. Not to me. You'll never appreciate the potential here. How could you? <laughs> when everything is given and nothing is earned. Okay, I was feeling bad for you. And now I don't want your project to, to surface. Oh, 
fanciful whelps. Pray you never wake to find reality knocking at your door. If I was a parent and I heard that around the corner, you would be executed within the hour. Are you out of your mind? Are you threatening them? You are... I hope you're still alive. I want revenge on this bitch. I, I was feeling sorry for you for a second, and I watched 20 seconds more. All right. I'll see you guys in a second. Hey, YouTube. How's it going? Welcome back to the show. Okay. <laughs> oh, I gotta turn this up. Spread word of our escape. Rendezvous in the morning. Rendezvous. That is nuts. That is nuts. Why are we zooming in on this shit? Oh my god, she probably feels so bad. If I was in her shoes, because like I, I think I relate to Key a little bit because I'm like a super overthinker and a heavy empath. You know, so like sometimes I put myself in her shoes. I don't have the anxiety attacks as much because I'm I'm a little bit more um I'm I'm quicker on my feet, so that part I don't relate to as much, but I can empathize with it. Um yeah, empathize, not sympathize, empathize. Um, but like, you know, like staying in front of this big tree with like copies of like intentional copies of yourself being hung and they are only being hung because of how they look and how they were, how they were born and in the situation they were in. So just because they look kind of like you, they're dead. And that's what I think that's what's going through her mind right now. And I would feel I would feel so bad. I'm actually getting a little upset right now because, like, if I, if that happened to somebody, I would I would be mortified. So, like, I can only imagine what this is gonna like lead for her. I mean, she could be a little bit stronger than what I'm imagining, but like, it would it would eat at me a little bit. Time to start talking, Percival. The Perc fuck happened back there? I assure you, I'm in control. Turn that thing on any of us again. I will not hesitate. I will kill you. <sighs> it's a hard situation because like it's not necessarily overreacting like they know the power of the gun and you can't like you will not be happy if your friend points his gun to your face and like is angsty and sassy with you i would not be happy i would not want to be friends with that person anymore so like i think percival needs to get a little bit more attuned with what's going on i understand this is a very sensitive matter and that's there's a lot of background and history with this but this is your family this is your this is your non-blood family all right you need to take care of them you need to they're doing they're putting their lives in danger to help you and your history and do all this shit right so i mean it's also to help the king and all that shit too but like obviously i'm sure they care about his situation as well so percy Holding that weapon, it's like you're a different person. The creation of the pepper box begins five years ago. The pepper box. <laughs> We're getting history of how he created it. Sick. I was so curious about all this shit. I've been reading through the comments and all that jazz. I just don't even know about them. The bird mask. The um. What are what are those called? It's like an apothe not apothecary. Oh my god, I can't think of the name of it. But it's, like, they're in, like, almost every single, like, apocalyptic game. You know, it's the... With my family murdered, I had no way of striking back. So I did the only thing I could. Jumped in the ocean. I fled. Late. Jesus. Washed away to a new life. I feared the Dorello name was a death sentence. That? You are so lucky you didn't- You know how- We're in fantasy world. You know what the hell lives in waters? Like, even even if, if if we're in today, currently, if you fall into a random lake in, in like a little bit more of a remote area, there could be crocodiles or alligators or sharks or piranhas or water spiders. All right, there could be- Like, imagine a fantasy world. There's probably so much worse shit. You are lucky you got grabbed ashore. So I disappeared. My nights filled with fear, blood, and cruel nightmares. I want to pause on those so bad, but I'm not in YouTube where I can do frame by frame. But like, 
Is that illustrating how his parents died? I wonder if we're going to be able to see a little bit more of that. These uh, unrelenting... Hold on. That went way too hard. Whoever directed that scene, bravo. Beautiful transition. One of the coolest I've seen, actually. That's sick. Yeah, look, don't get me wrong. That thing's badass. But what are those scribbles for? The monsters I hunt. Professor Anders, Anna Ripley, the Briarwoods, and until about an hour ago, Kyrian Stonefell. In my dreams, I swore to make a list of those who wronged me. Swore to who? Hold up, that's five names. Who's the sixth barrel for? Myself. After I'm done with them. Is that what he's gonna say? I ain't got nothing. It's a tree. It's that ale? You told me they was all empty! I guess there was one left. Oh, must not. Kill Vax. I'm so sorry. The sentry was. I, I thought maybe that something her. inside. <laughs> she just needs. She just needs some emotional support, please. Somebody just hug her. She's just trying to help. Why not just announce where our hideout is while you're at it? I know. All right, you made your point. Ugh. Guess they're a close knit family. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shut, Shut it. it. I know you're eager to rally the troops. But Cassandra's my only family. I have to find her. I am a little nervous about uh, Scandalan, Scan, Scanny, Scanalunu, uh, about his backstory. Because, like, it seems like this show is, like, well, that doesn't seem. It is really well written. So I'm assuming the characters are also well written. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. But um, the thing is, you can easily play off. The, like, <laughs> sexual innuendos, fun shit, <laughs> dicks, you know, just whatever. Um, but technically, that kind of relationship, um, writing, character, could stem back to a more abusive uh, type of past. Where, like, that was either what you were just exposed to constantly or that was you know, like your comfort area was that kind of relationship so like i don't know how deep we get into all their character backstories but tech technically uh, it can get really dark with uh that kind of history that's i hope I, I'm, I'm explaining that correctly it's just um i don't know if it's just supposed to be like oh it's quirky character or if it's like oh he's got He's got some problems. Even more guards posted in the back. Yeah, but there wouldn't be if I made them leave. <laughs> oh, seriously, how do you come up with these jokes so fast? Scanlan, please. Now is not the time to be cute. I am not cute. I mean, I am. Shut, shut up. But this plan is going to work. They're obviously reflecting back to it a few times, so he's, he's got something. But not like you mean it. Listen, I'm serious. I can create a distraction while you save Percy's sister. What am I doing? Oh, I'm a master distractor. Oh, I'm gonna burn it down there. Oh, moron. Whew. Okay, come on, come on, come on. You got this. No one ever suspects the scan man, right? Right? Yeah, right. What the hell was that noise? That is a spell that does noise projection. Right? I don't remember. Oh, is it Dissonant Whispers? Or is that something else? That might be an attack. But there's a spell in D&D &D that allows you to make noise elsewhere. So I'm fairly certain that's what this is. It's a very fun spell, but I sometimes I don't even know if it's a cantrip or not. But those are the spells that I wish I could use, but I want to put in a spell slot because sometimes you do need a little bit more offensive uh, magic or other tools. Because like it, it can be very useful, but but it's distraction-oriented. You know? It, it I, I don't know if you can use it for much else, but like... Putting sound elsewhere is meant to peak the ears of things that can hear around it. So I don't think you can use it in a different manner, to my knowledge. You can, of course, explain otherwise. Cool. Hopping walls like a cat. No! 
Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that? <laughs> this is why we look in windows, and I can't believe he just fucking dropped one in front of him too. This, this, this has got to be the thumbnail. I love picking out thumbnails for the episodes, dude. This, this is something else. You are out of your mind, man. Oh, shit. I don't think I want to talk about it. Wow. We're already 27 minutes in this recording and we're 12 minutes. I'm sorry I've been talking a lot. This It's just a really fun episode. I don't think I want to talk about the other thing. Passer, it's one of them! Oh shit, oh shit. Four jokes. I strung children's corpses from a tree. But I promise you, you will suffer worse. That's nuts that he didn't die. That dude just took, I don't know if it's technically magma or if it's just fire, to the face. Get away! Everybody uh -huh. Okay, fuck it. Never schnibble! I'll fill it you and use your bones for- Is that a Triceratops? <laughs> Do we know where we got that scroll from? I don't think I saw it, right? It was just something they had and he's been looking at it. I don't remember them picking it up. Can we, can we get a little bit of back story if it's not, um, spoilery? Spoilery. I can't do that word. Spoilery? Now for my grand exit. <laughs> Use the skid. Whatever the fuck. The little hand thing, you take the hand. I, I, he, I think he just sings the spell, but it basically, like, you can just take it. How else do you do it? Okay, anyway. Or not. Going somewhere. Try not to get yourself killed. I was dead yesterday, remember? Can only improve from here. It's fair. <laughs> Looks clear inside. Oh. I love doing the zoom ups. Oh, that's cute. Uh, I love doing the zoom ups on her face because it seems like she is one of the only characters within Vox Machina so far that has a more wider range of emotions, at least visibly, you know, because the other ones are all like, you know, but she like, you can read her like thought process a little bit more in the worry and like the like hope and excitement and happiness. And so she's just a little bit more expressive with her, with who she is than the other characters. And I'm not saying that's bad that the other characters don't do that. It's just, I, re I relate to it because I'm also a very emotional and expressive person, so it's, it's cool. Don, there could be a trap. <sighs> oh, wait, please, please. <sighs> oh, he doesn't need to say the name of the spell. That is nuts. If he can just spawn that thing and just, it just exists. 
That is crazy good. I thought it was like a, I thought it was like Mage Hand, but like it was like a level three or five spell or some shit like that. I don't know the capacity or the lengths of how it works, or if you could just summon it once and it could stay out, or if you just have to use it for like, oh, move me from here to here. But if you could just have, like, if you could just spawn it, you basically have just a, a, a giant's hand. Wait, wait. It's true. I'll talk. Everyone thinks I'm a joke. But the brothels have taught me one thing. Size doesn't matter. It's how you use it. It's how you use it. That's right. What? Yeah. We're not gonna... You can, you can probably kill him. You know? You could smash him into the house, maybe, or... I don't know. Pick him up. Can you just wait? Can you just pick him up with the hand, like super high, and then just go droop and just drop him? Oh, you guess you can't see my drop. Boop. One of those. You know, because like, like this could be super. If he could just take people and just throw them, you know, because he tossed uh, Vex, um, towards the dragon, was it? Or maybe it was a different fight. So what if he just did that to people? What if he just took people, and, phew, fucking just shot him in the air? That'd be crazy. Good show, Scanlan. If you harm her, I will end you. Let her go and we can discuss a future where you're still breathing. You can easily just shoot him in the head and he's done. You know that, right? Oh. You seem to think this is a negotiation. Don't! <laughs> I picked one hell of an episode to start doing the two episode part. Holy shit. Could you imagine if I didn't even bring that up the last episode? That would have been one stupid cliffhanger. Holy shit. Oh my god. We, why didn't we just shoot him? Half of his body, it was like this. You could clearly... I, <laughs> Light that bitch up. I don't know. I don't know what else like his class does, right? Is he an artificer? Is that what we talked about? I don't know anything about artificers whatsoever. I don't know if they actually have spells or if it's just his creation of this thing or if it's technically like a rogue. I don't know. But like, I don't know if he has spells or not. He's only been using said gun. He could be like a ranger of some sort. You know, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's. I would. I would have lit that guy up. All right. The second you put somebody in hostage that I care about, I, I'm taking the shot. All right, I'm not, I'm not risking the biscuit. There's no way this guy that betrayed your entire family in town is going to, like, talk. You're not going to be able to talk him down from not killing your sister, the person that he, like, he basically tried to kill both of you and he killed your family. Like, this is, this is his job. You, you've got to cap that bitch. Holy shit. What is this? Light and mercy. The soul. Okay. Light and mercy cleanse, cleanse the, the soul. soul. Light and mercy cleanse the soul. Hi YouTube. Oh, we're seeing this again. <laughs> okay, great. I can't. I can't. This guy is. Cass, hurry. Vex, I need Wanderer's Moss. Is he just standing in the background? What a weird situation. We have like five people here and no one's beating the shit out of this guy. I wanted to do that for so long. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me with this shit? The joy in watching the Dorolo child meet a painful end. Cheers. You son of a bitch. We're all sons of bitches, Dorolo. You in particular from that bitch who bore you. If we can just shoot a pinch more accurately, that hole in the door. We're all sons of bitches, bro. You in particular from that bitch who bore you. If that was just a pinch farther down, 
a few inches, you would have nailed him. Oh my god, it just pains me. We we need after this adventure, we are going to a shooting range for a few years. Or or get some like bardic inspiration for like your shots or something. I don't know. Oh, did I poke a sore spot? Rewards. Rise what the f armor of old and greet our guests. They gave him a silver tongue kind of thing. No. That is crazy. I love that idea. Uh, but whenever there is a summoner, usually, or a um, controller of constructs or creatures, usually taking out the main guy will end the effect. Usually, if it doesn't, and you kill the guy and you still have to deal with the shit, it's us it it sucks. It's like, oh fuck, okay, fine. Um, so now the one time he shoots him in the head is when it gets blocked. That's when you go down, please, and just bob, bob, right in the balls, please. That would be delightful. Um, we can someone please help our boy here because we, we need more than one person. He is he doing the healing. Let's take some anybody, anything. It's looking good. It's looking good. Cassandra. Oh fuck. Cassandra, can you hear me? No. Wait, wait. They're just building suspense. Yeah, okay. <sighs> <sighs> stop. Can we stop hitting these guys? Someone go after the human that's just telling them robots what to do. Send the one panther on them and you'll be fine. Please. Not even a scratch. One, that's three. This feels less appropriate now. This is a this is more of a future thing here. Um, you know when I was talking about the uh, the thumbnail being the guy in the toilet. There's a lot of emotional shit going on, and I probably should make it with him or his sister, but I don't think I can. I I feel like I don't. People are gonna be like, what what episode is? When when did this happen? It's just a small tidbit in this like big like emotional arc, but I have to. Having trouble there, Grog. How would you like to kill your friends for me? Oh my God! I don't know what spell this is. I don't know if this is, is even a spell or if it's something they did to him. That is crazy. Why are why is there five of us available and that guy is not dead yet? At your command. He wouldn't. Kill Vox Machina. Uh, <laughs> Could you met? Show's over. I was trying so hard to find you. I don't know why I thought it was going to be like a person. I like it significantly better as a son. Neverlight? Is that really you? Oh. Speak, child. Fuck. Who are you? <laughs> Did you really think that you saw him got shot with 10 arrows? You think stabbing him in the arm or chest is gonna do anything? Look how scary he looks. Your friends. Friends. <laughs> 
I wonder if this actually happened or if this is just an exaggeration or if this is just written for the story. But I wonder if they all did like lose like a wisdom or intelligence saving throw to a charm and this like fuck it and this actually happened like this because that would be crazy. Um, but this it's it happens. No escape this time. Well, I owe you an apology, Professor. Flattery will not prolong your life. And yet it bought me all the time I needed. Ah! Absolutely disgusting, but also about time. Yep. Ew. Yeah. We trusted you. You were our teacher. We would have done anything you asked. Mm -hmm. And you betrayed us when we needed you most. Okay. You're the face I saw when murder entered my heart. Guys, the smoke. I, I think he's fine to do it. You know, I think he's... He could have his angsty moments just as long as he doesn't take it out on us. He's still a bad guy over here. He's a much better person than me, though, because I feel like in my situation, if I saw you cut the throat of somebody I love, I would have thrown him on the ground and then shut up his limbs off one by one. I don't even know if I would start the fingers or not. I would work my up my way up and then shoot him out the window. I I get I'm very petty. Nasi. The solstice. That's five days from now. Why would they have this? Okay, real quick, I'm going to think that this is a uh, a situation where they're lining up certain rituals to be at each one of these cities to do a big summoning of some sort or to bring someone powerful back like an even stronger necromancer or giant or soul or dragon, whatever it may be. Because that's why the other cities and towns were marked. Because I'm sure it's not just like, oh, we need to control this area, we need to control this area. I think it's like positioning of a certain ritual. I don't know if it's like a, you know, satanic looking thing or it has to be a certain arc where like everything lines up perfectly or it shoots through mirrors or windows or glass or some shit. We need to signal Archie. Let him know that Cassandra is safe. I will say one of my favorite spells as a um, nature cleric was uh, plant growth. You know, the ability to like grow either like a field of crops in like a short time or like a smaller area or like the terrain and shit. I love it. I thought it, it's such a cute spell. Can we get a quick shout out for like blood magic? It's so angsty, but boy, is it so cool. What was that? Was that anything? I don't know if this is supposed to be anything important or if it's just supposed to be a spooky shot. But look at this bad boy. And you got struck by the baddest motherfucker. You got scan land. You got scan land. Ow. Huh? Sick. Whoa. Huh. Fucking A. Whoa. <laughs> Don't know. It's not what you think it is. Oi. You fellas got room for a third? I just got done being a big bad hero, and uh, I'm down for a little ugly bumping. Ah, oh, come on. I got enough magic below the belt to make you feel young again. <laughs> they still got that magic, huh? There? Everywhere? 
Of course it's zombies. Yeah. Because fuck me, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's a hole. Yeah, not really the time for one of your whorehouse stories. No. No. Oh, horde of undead! I would be ecstatic. All right, if I was Grog, I would go absolutely nuts. Oh, Lord. Got it. If this is in the credits, I don't know what is. What a beautiful first two episodes. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave me some support so I know you enjoyed it, because I, maybe I'll do it again next week. I'm going to do it again anyway, but I just want to try it anyway to see if you guys would like it even more if I ask for it. Regardless, I thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. It was a long one. You guys got a movie today, so I hope you guys enjoyed my, my random ass brands. Anyway, thank you for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.